everybody. Welcome to our first new project, same paper collab. This is a collaboration between uh, Stamp Girl, who is Paige, and me. Um, and hers is STMPGRL, and I'll have her link below. And you all are welcome to play along with us. You don't need to sign up or anything. Just let us know in the, in the comments where your video is so other people can see them too. So this one, if, if you watched our intro videos, uh, this is one where we each had to pick out a paper pad and we have to make projects with it throughout 2019, either until the paper pad is used up or there's so little left you really can't do a project with it, that kind of thing. And then you can start on another pad. But it had to be like a full paper pad and a 12 by 12. So this was the one I picked to use. Now for the project I'm about to show you, project, um, I used all three sheets of this paper which has like an orange, uh, two-tone orange zigzaggy on the back. So this is the paper that I picked and I used all three sheets. So I'm down three sheets out of 48 and this is what I have left. <laughs> Now there were some little bits, but I used them to punch some things and I used those punched items. So this truly is all I have left out of that, um, those three sheets of paper. Okay. So without, uh, and then I had to bring in some cardstock. I did use some petal pink, uh, stamping up eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock, but I also needed for one of the parts, I needed, um, some cardstock that was 12 by 12 and um, I didn't have any Stampin' Up! that would go with it so I pulled out this Blush Romance Hot Buy paper pad that I've had in my stash for a while and I think, oh, I don't know if there's any more of the color in here. No, let me show you. Hang on. I have a boo-boo piece that landed in my, in my um, scraps and it's this color. It's sort of a a blush so yeah that gave you a hint didn't it ah. but anyway let me pull out what I did <laughs> okay here we go you ready I made a handbag well actually I made more than just one handbag but um, this ribbon is from Stampin' Up it is the I did use some Stampin' Up! other products. I used, um, on this one, I used the Satin Ribbon 3 8 inch in Calypso Coral. And you'll see this later. I use this Variegated Ribbon, which is in the Occasions catalog. Uh, and that is Petal Pink and Whisper White. So I did use some of those. I also used um, some of this Grapefruit Grove organdy ribbon that's no longer available as part of that pack from the, um, whatever. I used my, um, one, two, three punch board to make this bow. And I did use some of these, um, bead landing acrylic gems. They're in pink and white. And I used the white ones. They're like an iridescent pearl white on here. And I used some Velcro which is how I closed this. So it's, this is the 12 by 12, uh, sorry, the 12 by, hmm, still can't see it, the 12 by 12 Michaels paper here, right there and on the sides. And it's not perfect, but it's not too bad for the first time. And then inside, you can see it's even pretty inside because it was the double-sided paper. And then I made a little one. <laughs> Actually, I made the little one first because um, where I got this from, actually, I think I saw it on Paige's channel a while back. Let's see, when did I print this? August 18 is when I printed this. So Paige, you must have made this in August 18. But this is from Split Coast Stampers. And it's called Designer Gift Clutch. So here you can see that's one that they made. And I really followed that pretty well, except for the flower part. But there's instructions in here. And then when you get to the very end, it's a blog. When you get to the very end, they have instructions for 6x12 bag, which I did not make. 
and a 12 by 12 bag. So I made the 12 by 12 and I made the little, um, I forget what size this is. Hang on. Uh, it is six by mm, five roughly. So, um, and then here's where I use the Whisperer. I did use some of the pearlized doilies from Stampin' Up! and these adhesive sequins from Stampin' Up! Again, Velcro. And then I had some scraps left over and I decided to make some cards. Oop, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I forgot to do that. That is a weather warning. Oh boy. <laughs> This is Tuesday. I'm filming this. You will not see this till um, February 28th, but this is Tuesday the 19th. <laughs> anyway, I had some uh, papers left over from all of them, um, scraps. So I took actually two pieces of petal pink cardstock and made four card bases. And then I used, this is a piece of the designer paper that I, from the paper pad. These are little strips that were left over and I just took one one direction and flipped it over and put it in the middle and then put it the right the face up again. And then this, you know, this is the zigzaggy. And then this is part of the Michaels pad and then this is the petal pink from Stampin' Up. These are from Stampin' Up. This is Grapefruit Grove Half a Doily from Stampin' Up. And this is the Grapefruit Grove uh, ribbon that's not available anymore. And then this is part of the Michaels paper. I have not yet done anything on the inside. I think I'm just going to put a piece of either the lighter. I don't know if I have enough of that left. So I might just put wisp, uh, white paper on the inside. We'll see. So that's the first card. And I know this wasn't a card making session, but I figured I made a little case to put them in and an even bigger pay case. And then I might be making something else to put in the large purse too, but not for this month's viewing. And then this is another one where I used, um, actually, I think these two here were the first ones I did uh, because I had these bigger pieces of paper. So again petal pink the michaels paper the one side of this paper pearlized doily mm -hmm. this is cut out from the um this is using the sunburst punch from stampin up this is a strip of the michaels paper but using the um triple oh, what's it called not triple this punch <laughs> so you have the little um flower design or the rounder or the tag hole. I used the flower design. Um, I just took the pointy end and stuck it in each way. I did use on this one Mango Melody ink and um, the stamp set that I used on all the sentiments was the Butterfly Gala. I used You've Been On My Mind on one of them, a little note on one of them, and thank you so very much on these two. Okay, and then this is the soft pink ribbon, the petal pink and white. And then this one is done the same way, except for instead of putting the bow, I just doubled over the ribbon and I used the um, this punch, which you cannot get right now, but it's supposed to be coming back for the annual new annual catalog, um, which will be effective in June. I just used a piece of... Um, the uh, petal pink and did a little butterfly and then these sequins are um, mint macaroon and they're in the adhesive back sequins out of the annual catalog and these are the the not adhesive ones these are the uh, iridescent sequin assortment that I had to glue down and like orange pink and like a green which pulled out the colors of this paper I thought pretty well and same here, same thing as here. Okay, so that's those. And then the last one, um, I had another, I had just this much of this paper left other than that one strip I showed you. I did the banner backwards to this one. Um, I did another pearlized doily 
uh, this is another piece of that paper with the zigzag on it, the back of this. And then here I had little tiny strips of paper left. So I cut out some three quarter inch circles, another two of the butterflies. This actually opens up and it flies, has to mention. And then I used the itty bitty, the itty bitty, um, this set was in the, in the occasions catalog too. Uh, it's called Bloom by Bloom. It's part of a bundle. I used this little itty bitty flower punch. And I punched out some flowers. I put one on this three quarter inch circle. Here I punched out two flowers and just put the white side up and then the orangey side. This one's just the orangey. This is the three quarter inch circle with the butterfly punch. And they're all on a um, starburst circle on top of the pearlized doily. So I thought that came out cute too. And then I used the grapefruit grove ribbon on that. So this is the simplest one. Um, I didn't have much of this paper left you know I had this here but uh, yeah so that's that's it and those go in my little purse and those go in the bigger purse so I hope you liked my project for end of month um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing for next month and I have no clue what what Paige did but I know it's going to be awesome because she was spending some time on it <laughs> some time for sure and um, when you put these in here until they're used up anyway you have to kind of put two in the back and two in the front and then push on the velcro okay and then the purse comes back up and we're going to put this in here and I'm thinking well I'm not going to give it away because I might make what's going to go in here other stuff but you could use this like a loaded bag, right? You know, load it up and send it to somebody and they have a little purse. And I just, um, I put some glue dots down on the inside to get that ribbon on and also glued it for, um, to make it strong. And one thing I did do different than the instructions, um, let me maybe, well, I'll show you on this one, it might be easier. You see, I actually have another score here. She didn't score it um, in the blog. She didn't score it except for right at the top of the back here, where you um, where you glue it. Uh, sorry, it's so big. <laughs> so she scored it here, and then there was no score. But I made it because when you have it expand a little bit, you need that extra like half inch up there, right? to make it lay flat on top. So I just added a uh, half inch score line to it and, and that's it. So that's how I changed it up just a little bit. So that's my projects guys. This one uses the one side of the paper um, and then this for decoration and the little one used this side for the main part. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please hop over and see what um, Stamp Girl page made. I can't wait to see what it is and come back and join us um, on the 15th for our other collab and at the end of each month for our same paper pad um, new project so i'm going to be using let me remove this and i'm going to be using this first edition paradise crush throughout the year at the end of every month you'll see something different from me and i don't know what yet so yeah come on back and see all right, talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace.